Uh, plow crews have been busy keeping up with the series of storms we have been seeing here. Tonight, dozens so are in the shop in need of repairs. Kirsten Nunez joins us live with an exclusive look at the challenges the state's mechanics face as they work overtime to prepare for our next major snowfall. Kirsten? Hi guys, yeah, during the winter, our snow plows take a beating as they spend thousands of man hours just clearing one single storm. Now, when you don't see those plows out here on the road, that's because they're in the shop getting some much needed TLC. Not much boredom here. Out of service and in the shop. We don't know what we're working on uh, a plow truck to a snowblower to a motor grader or a front end loader. With another storm. It changes every day comes another round of problems here at the heart of UDOT's operations in Salt Lake City. It means all hands on deck. It means we are here 24 seven. Uh, we have crews that work around the clock. Wayne Jackson is one of the 50 or so unsung heroes, making sure the state's more than 500 snow plows are up and running. With as many breakdowns as we do have, it, yeah, it's, it's hard to keep on top of them. From hydraulics and electronics. Electrical systems can sometimes take you five minutes, five hours or five days to find it, but five minutes to fix it. To cars crashing into the plows. Because they are traveling too, too fast, they'll actually run in and they'll damage the spreader for the, for the salt and it'll damage our brine systems. And when plows are stranded, Wayne goes to them, just like he did here in Little Cottonwood Canyon during our last big storm. The extreme loads and the extreme work force that's put on them, they require more of a severe uh, repair schedule. With 21 years under his belt, the season is more challenging than most. We are very understaffed at this point, unfortunately. Being so short staffed is hard because we don't have the time or the man hours available to repair some of this. Wayne and his team are working hard to get those plows on the roads. Needs to go back out as quick as we can get it repaired and functional. Ready for the next storm. Here we go again. Now, Wayne tells me that drivers can help him out by giving those snow plows plenty of room on the road so they can work. So, Mike, sounds like an easy enough ask for the drivers. Yeah, it is an easy ask for us, and we certainly appreciate them, Kirsten, for what they do. I know that's not easy work. So uh, what they do, not just the drivers, but keeping those things up to speed, incredible. Thank you.